March 16th, 2021. Zero point is completely destabilized. As a result, we get different realities come to Fortnite. Zero point is sealed by the foundation. Different creatures from different realities has attacked Fortnite. The Fortnite map is in chaos. This is when the last reality decides to attack. We see the last reality alien ship and the cube queen shows up on the map. March 20th, 2022. After years of problems between the Imagine Order and the Seven, a war is declared. There are tanks, bow bus, blimps. Seven had to even build a giant robot to stop the Imagine Order. Absolute chaos on the map. This is when the last reality attacks yet again. Chapter 4, Season 2. There is a battle going on between the Peace Syndicate and the Fox Clan, but there is a secret group in the background who no one knows about controlling everything. And this secret group works for the last reality. They all have one mission to bring the last reality back to Fortnite. And this is all happening during the live event of Chapter 4 Season 3. Like this video for five months of good luck. In Chapter 4 Season 1, when Stalon was uh, preparing this rift gate to bring the nothing back to Fortnite, someone sabotaged their plan. They destroyed the rift gate, creating an open portal in the sky, meaning anyone and anything from any realities can come to this Fortnite map. And that is exactly what happened. In Chapter 4, Season 2, we started to see different realities come to Fortnite, locations such as a mega city, an organization that ruled that area like the Peace Syndicate. We also get their enemies as well, like the Fox Clan and River Guards. And as soon as they got on this Fortnite Chapter 4 map, the battle continued. But little did they know, there was this mysterious fourth group who works for the last reality, trying to sabotage everyone's plan so that there is chaos on the map. This group is called the Unseen. So far, we know there's three main members in this group. Dahlia, Styx, and their leader, Triarch Nox. These three people are very unpredictable. They do not care about hurting innocent people. They have one mission to bring Lost Reality back to Fortnite. Now, even though bringing the Lost Reality to Fortnite is their ultimate mission, their main mission at the moment is to create a chaos on the map. Now, like I mentioned before, before, there's a war going on between the Peace Syndicate and the Fox Clan and the Unseen has been given a mission to keep that war going. His war obviously creates a chaos and distraction and we have seen this in the past every time the last reality has attacked, there is a war going on on the map. The Unseen has a secret member in the Peace Syndicate who's helping the Unseen and that member is Highwire. Fortunately, Thunder has started to get suspicious. This was where when a Triarch Nox hacked into their system, left everything untouched except for the information on the last reality. Peace Syndicate calls the Fox Clan and the River Guards for a meeting, and he convinced them all to work together. If Triarch Nox succeeds in this mission, he's going to destroy everything. He also somehow managed to convince Highwire to step down, and Highwire reveals to us a device the Triarch Nox is using to communicate with the lost reality. The moment we have destroyed that communication device, the Triarch Nox is actually the least of our problem. Like I mentioned before, the Triarch Nox's job is not to bring the lost reality to this map, but only to create a distraction. But the people who's responsible to bring the lost reality to this map are the Serenade and Herald. Herald is not gone yet. If you remember in chapter three, the Herald turned into the reality tree. That's how she managed to explode the entire map. Part of that tree is still on this map. If you look carefully, you can see that there is a giant hole, meaning Herald escaped and is on this uh, chapter four map. We think that Herald is responsible for the earthquakes that we are getting right now because these earthquakes are creating uh, cracks on the map and we are starting to see roots come out of these cracks. And this isn't the first time we've seen roots come out of ground in Fortnite because last chapter we have seen seen the reality tree spread its roots around the Fortnite map. Also, it looks like the Unseen are helping these roots to grow out faster because if you go to the site, you can see a bunch of shovels and cranes helping them grow. And the reason why they're helping them grow is so that they can grow into a huge jungle because it looks like wherever the last reality is from, in their reality, they have jungles and
and uh, temples. That is confirmed by this leaked image of season three. Harold's job is to bring the jungle and there's one more person called the Serenade who's actually more powerful than Harold. She has the ability to bring different structures and people from different realities using the monoliths. You might have noticed that the monoliths is actually growing. Start of the season, you could only find monoliths near Mega City, but now you can find them on different biomes and it is actually surrounding cracks where you can see the root. Now her job is to bring old temples and the last reality to this map. That is exactly what's going to happen in season three. We are going to see this person right here, the last reality at this location and she's actually going to be a boss. She's going to have a bunch of henchmen around her. And it looks like the last reality also wants to have a volcano on the map as well because the Ligas has found a bunch of volcanic rocks in the file and they are suggesting that this location near Mega City is going to turn into this active volcano. Everyone is saying that the reason why the last reality wants to have a volcano right here is so that they can destroy Mega City because they understand that the peace syndicates actually at the moment the most powerful organization on the map and they understand that Mega City is in fact their main headquarter at the moment. So if they ever become a problem, they can literally use the volcano to destroy Mega City. But it looks like we are getting an old enemy who's going to be our friend. I'm talking about Dr. Sloan. That is right. She's not gone yet. That is because during the live event, when the mech crushed her, she managed to get inside of the tank, saving her life. And because of this survey skin, we know that she's going to return. I think she's going to be a friend because if you think about it, Dr. Sloan is the most experienced when it comes to the last reality. In fact, she's the only one who's defeated them when a giant UFO showed up on the map. The reason why we know she's going to be back is because of this survey skin. It looks like she's going to be back with some kind of like superpower of sand. We know Dr. Sloan is already on the map because we have been getting random phone calls and when you pick them up, there's no sound and someone hangs up. I think this is a reference to the quest that we got in season seven of chapter two when we were given a quest by Dr. Sloan using these phones. This is all going to take place during the live event. We are going to see the last reality return to Fortnite. We are going to see Dr. Sloan return to Fortnite as well. And also, hopefully, we are going to see the seven returns of Fortnite as well because it's been a while and we know that Amy has gone back in time to save the seven and the scientists. Next season's battle pass going to be sick. I'd click on this video to know all of the battle pass skins for next season. Also, please use code SMJAM and like this video. Subscribe to help me out. My name is Sam Jam. I love you, fams. Peace out.